welcome back to my channel. I am here with a cook me video. I know I haven't done one in forever. I kind of pre-did the meat yesterday, but I decided I wanted to show it with you guys. Um, it's pork chops in the oven with onion and carrots. But I got this packet. This is so good. It's the rosemary glazed pork tenderloin with carrots but I use pork chops instead it's the same thing um yeah prep time 10 minutes it's really not that hard um it comes with three little season packets um it has a tablespoon of the crushed rosemary uh I mean a teaspoon of rosemary a teaspoon of thyme leaves and three-fourths of minced garlic which you can get on your own um, you need half a stick of butter or a fourth a cup of butter a fourth a cup of firmly packed brown sugar a teaspoon of salt a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper uh, one pork tenderloin about a pound I just used two pork chops <laughs> was a pound for two pork chops they're pretty thick um, a pound of baby carrots and one large onion cut into wedges I just took an onion cut it into fourths and then cut those in half opened them up just spread it around and I just peeled a bunch of carrots and put them in there um, and then it gives you all of the stuff to mix you know all of the seasoning brown sugar and the butter all together put it on the tenderloin put it on mix the rest of it with the veggies that's what i have in the oven right now um i am currently peeling some potatoes i'm gonna chop them up and i started doing a little compost i have the um, eggs i made this morning the carrots from the potato uh carrots the the ca carrot peel from the carrots and the potato peel in this little bucket uh, i want to do a little garden so that's what i'm doing so i'm gonna put you guys here so you kind of see me um i have my potatoes here i'm just gonna cut them up into chunks get my big knife jk but i'm just gonna cut them into chunks so i'm gonna cut them into fours and I have my water. Let me turn it on. I have my water. And I'm just going to cook these until they're like halfway cooked. To where like the outside is still cooked. See, and I'm just cutting them into little chunks. Like you would with a... Like if you were doing mashed potatoes. And I made biscuits this morning, so I'm going to use those as well. So... There's one potato. There's the second. Um, me and my husband, we're going to start doing a whole, like, no soda, no energy drink. Because my husband loves his energy drink. Um, he's like, you can't just do a cold turkey, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, we'll slow it down. Um, but no soda, um, getting more back into how we were eating in Key West where I did most of the groceries with my paycheck and we would eat out maybe once or twice a month because over there we only had Outback, um, the Miami Subs place to go, like Wendy's, McDonald's, um, then there was like, um, the more expensive places to eat like um hard rack cafe and um oh my god i'm forgetting all the places now hard rack cafe and there was what's that place called benny hannah's yeah benny hannah's is pretty penny um but yeah that's it and then when we would go up to miami then we would stop at um key largo and get taco bell which wasn't that often because it was like an hour drive to go to Taco Bell. So yeah, that's what we would do. 
So I would usually get all the food and we'd make food and we'd do like barbecues with our friends and stuff. So we're going to try to start getting back into the cooking more often than eating out. Because here we have everything next to us. I mean, tons of places to eat out. So trying to get back on that track of mama cooked and we ate it and yeah, good stuff. So yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to cook them till they're like halfway cooked to where they're cooked, but they still hold their form because I'm going to throw them in the oven with this once it starts boiling up and this is almost done. And then I'm going to basically season them up with um, almost like a garlic butter type Thing with um, some asparagus as well because I got two big bushels of asparagus that my grandmother just had to send with us <laughs> um, my other grandmother not the one that's sick um, but yeah I'm actually probably gonna dump some of this water out because it's a lot of water but I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil to that and some salt while that is in the oven so what I basically did was just did everything that was on that pa little packet. And I think this is, you could get this for like a dollar, a dollar twenty-five. Um, where I buy it, it was on base and this is what it looks like, just so you can get it. And it has a little recipe and everything and the how-to on it. So I like keeping this just in case I can't find the little packet. I'll just buy what it has on it <laughs> and I'll use that <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm doing and I will be back with you guys once those are cooked <laughs> all right so potatoes are done I chopped my asparagus have it just washed and cleaned and on the tray I'm gonna put let me move this over here this side. Right here. <clears throat> I'm going to get my potatoes out. I'm just going to take as much water out as possible, but I still want a little bit so it steams up the asparagus. I'm going to make them kind of like hash. Twist it up. Brown them up a little bit. Be nice and flavorful and crunchy on the outside. I'm just laying them flat, as flat as I can get them, all over the rest of this side of the pan. This is just a cookie sheet. Nothing fancy. I think they were like on sale for like three of them for like ten bucks. So. Good day. So I have that. I have some fresh garlic here that I diced up. I'm just gonna sprinkle those on the asparagus. And a little on the potatoes. And then I have this garlic butter dip and seasoning. It has dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, spices, including parsley, sea salt, and natural butter flavors. From the Key West. Olive oil company from Key West. Yes, I did live there, so. And it smells good. It smells really good. Mm. I'm going to take this. I'm going to. Sprinkle some into my hand. This is about a tablespoon here. My hand. Just gonna sprinkle it all over. One both. I'm gonna take some olive oil. I just barely have enough olive oil in here. I need to refill this up with olive oil. <laughs> yeah, there's like barely any in there. 
guess I'll use some vegetable oil then instead. And I like cooking with olive oil. I need to fill that back up. I have a huge, huge like five gallon thing of olive oil. Yeah. And that's actually this. That's the label off of the five gallon thing of olive oil. Toasty. Oh. Ooh. Don't mind me. I uh, actually want a little bit more. Some of these potatoes don't have anything on them, so. And this is for like that dipping sauce. You take a tablespoon of it and then you put like about half a cup of olive oil in it and then you let it marinate and then you dip the bread in it. That's what this is for. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to cover that with some little oil. And I'm going to stick it in the oven. I'll be back. So this is my chop for my pork chops. That's what it looks like. You can see it. All right, back on the tablet. Um, use the same one I used to mix the um, potatoes around in. I'm just stirring these carrots around a little bit. Breaking up the onion. I'm going to steal a little piece of carrot. Mm -hmm. mm. Need a small knife. And this is what I'm going to cut into my meat just to check it. It looks good. meat looks cooked so I'm just going to cover this and then once the once the potatoes are done I'm going to stick it back in just so it can toast up the pork chops a little bit. I'll be back. Now with the asparagus I don't want it to overcook. I want it to just barely be cooked. I still want it to be semi-hard yet semi-soft. So I'm just going to flip these potatoes a little bit. Just want to make sure everything gets coated and covered. And you don't want to overcook them. You don't want them to be really, really soft. Just like your green beans, you don't want them to be too, too, too soft. And pasta. Pasta, you want it to be cooked, but not all the way cooked. So, let's take it back in there. 
So I uncovered the potato and the asparagus. The asparagus is almost there. It's almost to where I want it to be cooked. Um, so yeah, I'm just uncovering it. I put a little bit of butter on top. I mean, a little bit of butter. And I love butter. So a little bit of butter. And I'm just letting it toast up even more. And I think in about five minutes, I'm going to check it again. And then if it's to where I want it, then I'll put the chops back in to heat up a little bit more. I'll be back. Okay, so I checked it and I put the pork chops back in. And it should be done in maybe five ten minutes. So roughly everything cooking all together in about an hour. Quick dinner. Alright, bye. Okay, food's done. So here you guys go. Let's see if I can get you guys to look at it. There's potatoes and asparagus and here is pork chops with carrots and onions and that's with that marinade packet of food I'm gonna serve the plate and I'll be back here's the plate it's kind of really zoomed in but there's carrots asparagus potato and the pork ketchup a lot of vegetables but it's good for you the only carb that's really on this plate is the potatoes. So yeah, and the brown sugar from the marinade, but low carb, hearty, healthy meal, and it looks delicious and it smells good. Hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.